FME supports over 450 different data integrations. We can unlock even more power using FME server automations to run on event-driven webhooks from ESRI's Survey123 and ArcGIS field maps. In this video, I'll explain what webhooks are and build an FME solution to work with them. So, what is a webhook? A webhook allows a source web application to send a message to a destination web application, in this case FME server. We tell the source web application to notify us at a callback URL when an event occurs, like a record being added. The webhook is one way only. It's kind of like you subscribing to a store's mailing list by providing your email address so that you can receive an email when new stock has arrived. With webhooks, instead of an email, the source web application sends data using an HTTP request to the destination URL. The data sent in the request is typically in JSON format. Webhooks can be created in both ESRI's Survey123 and ArcGIS field maps to send data to FME server. The webhooks are slightly different for each product. Survey123 sends the feature attributes in JSON. ArcGIS field maps uses a feature service webhook that returns a changes URL. The changes URL must then be called to get the feature attributes. To simplify this for you, we've created the ArcGIS Online Data Webhook Getter Transformer. This transformer will take the whole webhook message sent from ArcGIS Online and return all the added, updated, or deleted features since the URL was last called. Here's an example to demonstrate all of this. Water leak reporting. A resident in the city of Safeville notices water pooling on their street from a broken main. They report it using the city's website, which leverages ESRI's Survey123. Survey123 has a simple interface, good for public crowdsourcing of data. Survey123 sends a webhook message to FME server, which runs an automation to add a draft work order to an ArcGIS online feature service used by FieldMaps for the city to take action. FieldMaps is more in-depth than Survey123 and allows for management of data in the field. This event causes the ArcGIS feature service to send a webhook message to a different FME server automation, which will notify the city water department manager. The Water Department Manager reviews the report and assigns it to a team member, triggering the Feature Service webhook again. The team member receives notification, visits the location to inspect the issue, and reports their findings using the Field Maps mobile app. Now that we know what a webhook is and what we're trying to build, let's get started. I've already created the Survey123 form to report water leaks, simply the citizen's contact info, a description, and the location where the leak was found. Attachments are optional. Now we just need to create the Survey123 webhook. Create a new automation in FME server with a webhook trigger. To test the automation, add a logger and log the webhook message. I'll save the automation as water leak reporting. After saving, the webhook URL can be copied from the trigger. We'll need it to create the webhook in Survey123. Start the automation. In the Survey123 settings, create a new webhook and paste the URL copied from FME server. Make sure to choose New Record Submitted as the trigger event and Submitted Record as the event data to include in the payload. Submit a test record, wait a few seconds, and then check the log in FME server. There's a message in the log with our Survey123 data. The automation is working. Now we need a map in ArcGIS Online with a feature layer to add the Survey123 data to. This work orders feature layer has been created to capture all of the information reported by the citizen as well as information used internally by the city for tracking work orders, such as status, who the work is assigned to, and the description. By adding the feature layer to a map, we can create an ArcGIS field map application with a smart form to view and update the work order on a mobile device. The next step is to create an FME workspace that will automatically create the work order feature for us in field maps. I've already created this workspace. It will fetch the webhook JSON as a parameter from the FME server automation using a parameter fetcher. Fragment the JSON keys and then filter the attributes and geometry based on the JSON index of each key using a test filter. Create a point geometry from the JSON with a geometry replacer. Merge the attributes with the new geometry, clean up some attributes, and then write the feature to our work orders feature service using the ArcGIS Online feature service writer. Let's publish this workspace to FME server. Now it can be added to the FME server automation. Back in FME server, open the water leak reporting automation and stop it. 
add a new workspace action and choose the workspace we just uploaded. Make sure to send the webhook message in as a parameter. Save and restart the automation. Let's test again. Submit another water leak report in Survey123. Give it a few seconds and check our work order map in ArcGIS field maps. The FME automation has added the point record. An ArcGIS Online Feature Service webhook needs to be set up to notify the Safe Fill Water Manager when a new draft order is created. The same webhook will be used to notify a team member when work is assigned to them. Similar to the Survey123 webhook we created, we'll start by creating a new FME server automation with a webhook trigger and a single log event. As mentioned earlier, webhooks in ArcGIS Online are created differently than Survey123. In ArcGIS Online, open the Feature Services Feature Server URL. We'll need to access the admin functions, so add the word admin to the path between REST and Services. Now you can create a webhook. Paste in the URL from the FME Server Automation's webhook trigger, set the payload format to PJSON, give the webhook a name, and set the webhook to fire when features are created or updated, and click Create. Activate the webhook, and back in FME Server, start the automation. ArcGIS will now send an HTTP request to our FME Server automation whenever a work order is created or updated. Let's try it out. I'll update one of our point attributes in field maps. And there's our webhook message. But as mentioned previously, it doesn't contain the actual work order data, just a URL to fetch it and the type of event that has occurred, in this case, an update. This message needs to be processed in FME Workbench. I've created another workspace to do that using the custom ArcGIS Online Webhook Data Getter Transformer found in the FME Hub. This transformer will take our webhook message and return the data for any adds, updates, or deletes done on the feature layer in ArcGIS. This workspace will expose and rename attributes, return a feature only if the status is draft or assigned, because we don't want to send a notification for the other work order statuses, perform some date formatting, and then pass the attribute data back to the FME server automation using the FME server automations writer. Publish the workspace. In FME server, open the work order assignment automation and stop it. Add a new workspace action and choose the workspace we just uploaded. Make sure to send the webhook message in as a parameter to the workspace. Add an external action and connect the work order's output port to it. This port is available because of the FME server automations writer in our workspace. I'll configure this action to send an email to the assignee with all the information from the work order using the text editor for the email subject and body fields. Finally, I'll add some loggers to help with debugging and start the automation. We're now ready to test the whole flow. As a citizen, I'll report a water leak in Survey123. The Survey123 webhook fires and creates a point feature in our work order service. The creation of this point triggers the ArcGIS Online Feature Service webhook and sends the water manager an email. The water manager assigns the work order in field maps, which triggers the webhook again and sends an email to the team member. The team member views the work order on their mobile device and can add field notes. And there you have it, unlocking the power of ArcGIS Online webhooks with the FME platform. If you'd like to learn more, please visit the how-to articles in the comments.